Welcome to our lecture online. Now, how do we evaluate polynomials and what does that even mean? Well, let's take a look. Here we have an expression 3x squared minus 5x plus 4 and we set it equal to p. So p is a polynomial of three terms. The order of the polynomial is a second order polynomial, which implies that the polynomial depends on some variable x. And so we can evaluate that polynomial if the value of that variable x is given or known. So we can then write the polynomial as follows. The polynomial depends on the variable x and it is equal to 3x squared minus 5x plus 4. So this is a polynomial, an algebraic expression of three terms. Then I'm going to evaluate it. In other words, I'm going to find the value of p when x is some known value. Let's say we let x equal 4. If x is equal to 4, what is the value of that polynomial? That's what we mean by evaluating a polynomial. So what we're going to do is we're going to replace every x by the value of that variable x, in this case the number 4. So this becomes, instead of 3x squared, 3 times 4 to the second power, minus 5 times 4 instead of minus 5 times x, and of course we still have the plus 4 at the end. When we work that out, 4 squared is 16, 3 times 16 is 48, 5 times 4 is 20, so when we add all these terms together, 48 minus 20 is 28, plus 4 is 32, which means that the polynomial is evaluated when the number 4, when x is known, so when x equals 4, the polynomial is equal to 30, 32. And that is what we mean by evaluating a polynomial. You find a value, or you're given a value for the variable, you plug that into the polynomial, replace every variable by that equivalent value, and then you evaluate what that polynomial is equal to. That's how we evaluate polynomials.